Welcome back to another year. 2022 is upon us. So we took a bit of a break over the holidays, a break from YouTube, a little bit of a break from designing, spent some time with the family and it was much needed. But you know what? I missed you guys. Hopefully all of you had a wonderful holiday, spent some time with family or friends and just had a little bit of a chance to relax. You know, it's been a heavy couple of years. Now, I had a ton of things planned for this channel, but none of them really seemed fitting for a first video. They're all really devy and info content driven, and I needed something to kind of get the ball rolling, a warm up, if you will. And then I'm sitting there, I'm racking my brain, phone rings. It's a friend of mine. They just bought a house, awesome for them, but they wanted a few simple ideas to spruce up the kitchen without spending a ton of dollars. You know, they just weren't quite ready to dive into the renovation, nor should they be. You know, they've got to move in and live in the space first. So we grabbed a coffee, we had a chat, and here's what we came up with. Number one, new metal, you know, paint. Paint what you ask? Well, pretty much anything. This is likely the most obvious place to start and probably the most straightforward. A coat of paint can freshen up pretty well any space, not just the kitchen. My suggestion is to start with the walls and just a fresh coat of paint, a new start to that kitchen space for you. Now, most people will often gravitate towards lighter or neutral colors, but do what you want here. Grab a few samples and see what you like in the space. After all, paint is really easy to change. If you want to go a little further, tackle those cabinets. A few weeks ago, or, or maybe months ago, we refreshed a set of cabinets down in the laundry room and it completely transformed their look. And if you want to take it even further yet, you can even paint those appliances. There's lots of good tutorials and blogs and videos out there of people transforming their white appliances to stainless steel or transforming their white or stainless steel appliances to some of those retro pastel shades that have become quite popular. Number two, swap out your cabinet hardware. This is like the, the bling or jewelry of your kitchen. So it makes sense that swapping out your cabinet pulls or knobs can give your kitchen an entirely new look. If you have knobs, the process is simple. You're dealing with a single hole, so it's pull off the old ones and install the new ones. If you're dealing with pulls on the other hand, take the time to measure the distance between the two arms. You're gonna to wanna to keep it simple and purchase new cabinet hardware with that same measurement. If you don't, you're likely gonna to have to be doing some sort of cabinet patching, some sort of hole filling, and drilling new holes, and that project just begins to spiral a little bit more than you might want it to. So the next thing you can do is swap out your faucet. Now this is probably the priciest option on the list, but it can absolutely transform the way you work and use your sink down the line. Let me give you a bit of a story. When I first moved out here to Edmonton, I rented a condo. And in the kitchen, there was a faucet as you would expect there to be, but it sat about level with the countertop on each side. Seriously, it, it didn't go up at all. It wasn't even extending to the middle of the sink. It was, it was terrible. So I headed to Home Depot and grabbed just an inexpensive Moen faucet and installed it in its place. But I wasn't about to just give my landlord a free faucet after all, you know, I'd, I'd paid a couple hundred dollars for it and I didn't know how long I was gonna be in the condo. So I kept the original piece of crap, I shoved it in the box, put it up in the spare room closet, and when I moved out, I reinstalled it, bringing my Moen with me. So I guess the moral of the story, if you will, is this is an option that even works for those of you who are renting your current spaces. The next thing we discussed was installing some new light. Obviously, this is going to be quite variable from space to space. Take that original condo I just talked about, it had a single light up in the ceiling of the kitchen. However, if you have pendants or sconces, or maybe even that single light up in the middle of the room, putting in a new fixture can completely transform not only the look, but potentially even the function of your space. Plus, it's a great way to add a bit of a personal touch and some of your personal character into the room. Another option, if you're after a little more light, is to install puck lights or battery operated under cabinet lighting. This doesn't require an electrician to install and is quite easy to do. It'll give you more light when you're working and add some ambiance to the room as well. And number five, add a little life to your space. Lean into that green thumb of yours. And if you don't have one, give it a try anyways. You would be surprised at how much of a difference a little bit of greenery can make. If you've got a garden outside, cut a few fresh flowers and put together a bouquet on your windowsill or table or island. Even better yet, plant a few herbs and grow them somewhere in your kitchen, be it on a wall or in the windowsill. We've got a little avocado plant working its way up there. You know, it's not something that normally grows in Edmonton considering it's 
minus 35 degrees outside right now, but it's been fun to watch it go from that avocado seed to what it is now, or avocado pit. Pit's kind of the seed. Anyways, it's grown into that, which has been pretty fun to watch, and it adds a little bit of life into the kitchen. And if you don't have much in the way of natural light, here's a little secret. Artificial plants look really good these days and can fool even the most discerning of eyes. I once had a neighbor who watered a completely fake tree for two weeks while we were away on holidays. Then we got onto the topic of open shelving. You're joking. Not another one? Oh, for God's sake. Okay, okay. Don't rag on me too hard down in the comments. Sometimes open shelving fits the bill perfectly. Open shelves or floating shelves are a great place to display items, be it some gorgeous dishes or antique bottles, maybe even a piece of art. Hey, you could even put a plant on there. Ultimately, it gives you a place in which you can create a bit of a visual pop for your space, giving it some new life. If you're working on a budget or not quite ready to renovate, or maybe you're living in a rental, shelving can be a great place to add a little bit more storage or create a focal point for a space that doesn't already have one. At number seven, find yourself some new fabrics. You know, a kitchen doesn't feel quite right until you see a dish towel draped over that oven handle. Fabrics are kind of like the icing on a cake. Dish towels or window treatments or even upholstered seating all add an element of softness and hominess to a space, making it feel like it's lived in and comfortable. So splurge on some new hand towels, maybe swap out the blinds or curtains on your windows, or lay a runner along your cabinetry. All of these are going to give a visual pop to the space, and that last one, it'll make your feet happy as well. And finally, think kitchen adjacent. If your kitchen is part of a larger room, the change can come in the adjoining space instead of the kitchen itself. Think swanky coffee bar. You don't need a lot of space for this either. Just a few square feet along a wall or in an awkward nook somewhere in the room. Build it out of an old dresser or hut, something that adds a little bit of character. And the bonus, when you have guests come over, it'll look like a really inviting space. Another option is to get creative with a wall. Create a focal point or an accent wall. Now, wallpaper is definitely coming back in style here. And for you renters, think peel and stick. It's a great option to put up while you're there and pull down before you leave. Or a more labor intensive accent wall, albeit not in the kitchen, but we created a cool geometric accent wall at one of our investment properties. It was as simple as ripping down some MDF, filling some holes and giving it a few coats of paint. Although we did this in a bedroom, it would look just as good in a dining room or a wall off your kitchen space. Ultimately, we aren't all ready to tackle a major renovation. You might not even be in a home or space that would allow you to complete any major work. Or you might love your current space as it is, but feel like a few small changes are due. And who would blame you after the last few years? Now, before I head out, I want to take a minute and thank all of you who watched a video last year, left a comment or gave a thumbs up, joined our community or became a client. Last year, we passed 10,000 subscribers, a million views, 250 client designs, and that's all because of you. So I wish you the very best in 2022. Thanks a ton for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing all of you guys next week as we kick off our first series of the year.